Hey, Tony Gasson here, popping in for a quick video. Well, I don't know how long this will be. Um, what talk to you now about why older men like younger women? Now, to be honest with you, as a man, speaking as a man from a man who has a lot of experience with dealing with women. Now, first, what I mean by this is from 15 to 21, having been out there with more than a hundred women not something i'm proud of but it's something that we used to use to define ourselves as men and so i'm honest and transparent about that now not a lot of men share numbers like that and the reason being is because most men want to appear as superman instead of clark kent and we want to appear as the knight in shining armor but in order for me to help you understand the realities of men, then I have to be transparent with you. What I want you to understand that is also a myth in the mind of women is that every man is different. That's not the case. You have two types of men. You have grown boys and you have grown men. What I mean by grown boys is I mean adolescent minded males in the body of an adult male. Men see the world in one or two ways. Grown boys, they all agree. Grown men, all agree. It's right down the middle. Now, yes, as a woman, you could deal with different men and you see little nuances, but I'm not talking about this guy smokes, this guy doesn't smoke. I'm not talking about this guy gambles, this guy doesn't gamble. This guy gambles on Sundays. This guy gambles on Wednesdays. I'm not talking about nuances and little small personality quirks. I'm talking about the grand scheme of things, the, the big picture of life and how men view life. Whether a grown man feels a woman is an equal partner, she's a teammate, she is to be married, she is to be cherished, she is to be respected, and you raise your family with her and you're faithful to her. She has a voice, she has a mind, she has vision, she has hope, she has dreams. A grown boy feels he is the head, she is the tail. He calls the shots. She listens to the shots. She is in complete submission. And to him, submission means she can't think for herself and everything must go through him and it's his way or the highway. That's the two ways it's broken down. You either one man or the other man. Point blank period. Now, as a woman, you may never really understand that because most men, 99% of men, never show the true them to a woman. Because in this world, women have been made to be the opponent, not the teammate, according to our, the way we view relationships. So think about this. Now, when it comes to older men dating younger women, all of this plays into this. And so what I mean by this is a man who is immature, a man who may be Im insecure, he will want a younger woman because women mature faster than men. And so this younger woman is actually not necessarily on his level in his mind because she's a different age. And she he doesn't believe a grown boy. If this man is a grown boy, he doesn't believe that women mature faster than men and that women have a different type of mindset than men and women, you know, could be smarter in areas and women can be more articulate in certain areas and women can be more capable in certain areas. The grown boy doesn't believe that. He is superior in every way. It's how some races view other races. As one race think they are superior in every way or a majority of the ways and then other race is inferior. That's how a grown boy looks at women. So the older man he wants this woman because he wants to be able to manipulate and to control so it's a couple things that happen here is to manipulate meaning he's been around the block more times than she has been around the block so he understands where the you know potholes where the different shortcuts are and she doesn't so he can say hey let's go this way and she doesn't know that it's several pitfalls on that trail that he has booby trapped for her because he's been down that road before 
And to make that plainly meaning, he could have a certain argument and he could say certain things, pull certain things out of his hat that she's never heard before and she doesn't even know how to respond to it. So it corners her, it makes her feel defenseless. And now he's won the argument. She feels insecure, debased, inferior. And now he feels superior and smarter than her. And so that's one reason why older men want younger women so that he doesn't have to argue and debate his ignoramity. I don't know if that's a word. It's going to be a word today. Okay. So he doesn't want to have to argue and debate all of his harebrained schemes, th these ideas he has. He wants her to be able to, hey, you shut up and you listen because I'm older than you. I've been here longer than you. I'm old enough to be your, your big brother from a different decade or your daddy. And so you don't know what you're talking about. I've been here. Shut up. The other thing that a man wants to be able to do when I say control is men know that a lot of women were daddy's girls or wanted to be a daddy's girl. And so innately, um, women tend to seek out a father figure a representation of security, financial security, physical, sec physical security. And that is why you see a lot of women like the bad boy. And when I say bad boy, he may be a, a bad nerd. He may be a bad theologian. He may be a bad doctor, meaning like tough, rough around the edges, kind of slick out the mouth at times, direct, you know, not afraid to size a man up, not afraid to, to read a man his rights and tell somebody off. And a lot of women like that because they feel protected. Oh, he's not afraid of the world. He's ambitious. So he's going to make money. He's going to provide for our family and he's going to protect me, you know. And so women will seek that. And grown boys understand that. And some women who are grown girls they don't understand that a real man's strength is in his gentleness, that a man giving her and allowing her, not giving her, but allowing her to keep her righteous mind and allowing her to keep her opinion and allowing her to think through situations, use critical thinking skills and to call shots in the areas that she's stronger in. A lot of grown girls look down on that and say, oh, he's not a real man. He's not decisive enough. I want a man that's going to tell me what to do. I want a man that's going to just, you know, dominate me. I want a man. And it's women who say this. And that's because she's insecure. She's lost and she's broken. She has low self-esteem and she doesn't know who she is. So she wants a man to take the reins and have say so across the board because she's not confident in herself. A grown woman wants to be able to come to the table and say, this is who I am. This is what I know. This is what I do. Like, this is what I think we should do on this. A grown woman wants to have a voice in her relationship. A grown girl does not. The grown girl can be 18. The grown girl could be 30. The grown girl could be 40. It doesn't, it's not an age. Just like with grown boys could be 50, 60, 70. And so the grown boy, the man who preys on younger women, he wants younger women for their age. Not because they just happen to bump in each other and they hit it off, but he's looking for a woman who is younger. He wants her because he wants to be able to control her and re-raise her. And so the thing why I tell a lot of women, do not date a man older than five years than you, is because he may try to re-raise you. Because if you get too much age gap, he may think that he is your daddy, that he's old enough to be your daddy. And once you cross to like 13 years older than you, he is old enough to be your dad because it's a lot of men who get a woman pregnant at 13. There's a lot of men who became a father at 13, 14 years old, 16 at the latest. I could have been a father at 15 had it not been just God's grace. Why? Because I lost my virginity at 15 and I was having sex unprotected. And so I could have become a father at 15 years old. I, fortunately, I didn't become a father until 22. 
I believe, no, uh, 23. So fortunately, I didn't become a father until 23. I could have been a father at 15. That's eight whole more years that I could have been a father. And so, and I know a lot of men who became fathers at 15, 16. It actually started to become like the norm where I'm from. And so I say that to say, when you start getting across 10 years older than you, 10 years or more, when you're dating a man, that's when it goes into daddy role. That's when, that's why the saying, oh, daddy, yeah, oh, daddy. Why women, you know, started saying that in, in bed. And why men started saying, call me your daddy. It's because of, I'm raising you, like I'm dominating you, like you look up to me. And so that's why that started to happen. And a lot of people don't realize that. And, and so what happens here is these men who look for a woman, now understand I'm talking about two different type of men. I'm not talking about the type of man who he bumped into a woman, they met organically, they started talking, they hit it off, and then age came out because he already assumed she was his age and because of her conversation, her demeanor, and then they discuss age and it comes out she's 10 years younger, eight years younger, 13 years younger. And then they, but they had already hit it off and he fell for her for that. There are situations where that happens to where it's an organic meeting. The man was not looking for her, prime example. My security guard is way older than his wife, but she came into his store and they met talking about the products and then she kept coming into the store because it's a it's a rental place and they kept talking they kept connecting and then eventually they connected shared phone numbers and started talking outside of in the store and he was hurting at the time he had been through a tough breakup he had been through a tough divorce you know, at, at a young age, like 20, you know, married and divorced and had some tough times, had just a lot of, you know, scarred heart. And then come to find out the young lady he met at the job, she's younger than him. He was very hesitant, did not, was not really into it, didn't want to go there, but they just kept talking, kept talking. He eventually fell for her. That was an organic meeting. I got to see that. Now, that's the one I know of personally, so that's why I know. Now, I know other men who are with women who are a decade younger, but I don't know their meeting story, how they met, if the man was looking for a younger woman, or how that worked. And so, but I know as a man, I understand the male mindset. I understand that we're not that different. The reason why I know that is because, meaning that men are not that different from one to the next. That's why, and you've noticed that if you're a woman watching this and you've been through more than one relationship. It's kind of like same thing in a different body. You know that if you've been through four or five relationships and you got cheated on in all five relationships or you got cursed at in all five relationships, you can't say, oh, every man is so different from the next man because you got the same end result. You got cheated on, you got cursed out or mistreated, you got ignored or ghosted or what have you. And so me having been an athlete all my life, I, I've been around so many men throughout my life that I just know we're not that different from one to the next. It's just on your, your outlook on life. Some men see women this way, other men see women this way. One is this woman is empowered, the other this woman is disempowered. And so, and it's really no in between. It's no like man that, hey, I wanna empower on Sunday and then I wanna just you know, ruin her the other six days of the week. She's nothing on the other six days, but then on Sunday she could be empowered. It's really no, you one or the other. You're a grown boy or you're a grown man, point blank period. And so now with my security guard, me knowing him personally, although his wife is younger, she has a voice. She calls shots and she, he respect her voice. So that lets me know he's not a predator. He's not one of those men that's preying on a younger woman to control her and manipulate her because I'm around them, I see them and that ain't how it goes down. And so same thing with my wife, she's two and a half years younger than me, which that's inside of the safe zone where it's five years. And the reason why I say five years is because that's where 
a woman, because she matures faster, is more articulate, kind of understands the world in a different way and on a faster level. And always, always look back to, you know, go to a kindergarten class and look at the difference in the language and the understanding and the maneuverability of a five-year-old girl and a five-year-old boy. And you're going to see that most of the girls kind of can run circles around the boys. They, they, they talk better. They understand more. They have a larger vocabulary. They just on another level, all the way down to two and three years old. It's a difference between the female brain and the male brain. And a lot of people don't want to acknowledge that. Mostly men don't want to acknowledge that because we want to pretend that we're so superior. The same thing in some races where some races don't want to acknowledge the genius or the abilities of other races because they want to pretend that they're so superior than this other race. And so really think about this. OK. And but a person who has come to their senses and it's an honest person, they'll they'll be able to say, you know, when a man becomes a real man, he'll be able to say, OK, I understand my woman is stronger than me in this area. My woman is smarter than me in this area. My woman is more capable than me in this area. A grown man can say that. A grown boy really will not want to admit that. And so when you see this, that's why I say the five years is a safe zone. Because a 27-year-old woman is not going to be too much, is not going to be really lacking mentally and emotionally and conversationally with a 32-year-old man. Now, a 27-year-old woman with a 37-year-old man, that right there, that's a bigger gap. That's where it's going to be some feelings involved with the man feeling like, who are you to tell me this or to have this opinion when you are 10 years younger than me? I, and that's what we see a lot of times in, in across the board. It's women who will come to me who are there in their 50s and they say, look, I've been here long enough. You could be my son. So I know what I'm talking about and this is what I'm going to tell you. And they, uh, they figure that because they're older than me, they understand more about men than I do. And that's where they're wrong at. And so the same thing happens vice versa sometimes. And so when you look at this, what I want you to understand is that the reason why these older men like younger women, the ones who look for, who are looking for a younger woman, and when I say younger woman, I'm really meaning like seven, eight years younger or more. Men who are looking for that. He's a pervert. He's a pervert. Okay. He's a pervert. That's first. Okay. He's insecure. Okay. He, he's looking for somebody to control because he can't control his own life. He's weak. He's insecure. I'm not talking down on him. I'm just literally describing him in real words. I'm not calling him a derogatory term. Pervert is a real word. Okay. Let's look up the definition of it and to make sure it's the right word. Because I'm throwing, throwing that word out there. Alter something from its original course. No, that's a different one. A person whose sexual behavior is regarded as abnormal and unacceptable. A little nasty. A little nasty, okay? He wants some s and M. He wants some domination. He wants total submission. Like I mentioned the older man in the other video that says emotionally exhausted from a four-year relationship. Let's watch that video if you missed it, where I'm talking about that older man who told a woman who's 10 years younger, the only thing you could offer me is total submission. He heard that on a movie or a podcast or a blog somewhere. And his nasty butt using it. That's what a lot of these guys do. That's why I try to tell y'all women, don't go, don't get so caught up in trying to be with an older man because you want financial security. Because you think he's going to be more mature. That's not true. I'm 36 years old. You watch my videos and you listen to what I'm talking about. And you see some of the other people that y'all may listen to in their 30s too. On love and relationship. And you can't tell me that every 50 year old man is more mature than me. 
Every 46 year old man is more mature than me. I'm 36 years old. So, and I earn seven figures. And my wife is um, 34. And she is financially secure. She is emotionally secure. And she with a man who is in her age range. She 34, I'm 36. So what I'm here to tell you, don't go chasing waterfalls. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds good right here. Okay, so listen to them when they tell you that. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Trying to look for financial security and emotional security and physical security and thinking that because a man is older that, that, that he's going to be able to provide that. That is not the case. Yes, it could be one in a thousand, one in a hundred maybe, one in five hundred. But you're going to be tore up from the floor up, going through, getting your heart taken advantage of if you are specifically looking for an older man. And if you're looking for an older man, I'm here to tell you, he is looking for you, but he is looking for you for the wrong reasons, just like you're looking for him for the wrong reasons. And so some of y'all say, well, the men my age are immature. That comes with the territory. Because what you're discounting is a man largely becomes who he's supposed to be based on the woman in his life. So what you're saying is he's immature. Every man is immature compared to a woman. And the way y'all see the world, the way your brain works, every man is immature. I am the man I am because of my wife, because of her stance on her life. So if you know who you are, a grown boy has to become a grown man. This does not mean you are training him. This does not mean you are raising him. What it means is you know who you are and what you refuse to tolerate. So if he wants to yell and you say, do not yell at me, don't ever raise your voice at me. Guess what? He will no longer yell at you. If he has a grown man inside of him, if he yells at you again, now, you know, he is a grown boy who is unwilling to become a grown man and you can leave immediately. You will see a grown boy who is unwilling to become a grown man. You will know that within the first month, three months at the most. So you don't have to waste your time. And, and, and just because you have to leave a man in the first month because he's a grown boy who is unwilling to grow does not mean you should automatically go looking for a older man because age is does not is not synonymous or equate to wisdom that is a falsity that we have been told to believe there you could be an old dummy you could be an older fool you could be an older immature person that it depends on your desire to learn and grow as a individual. So you will meet men who are 23 years old, 25 years old, and more mature than men who are 45 and 50. So understand this, that older men who are looking, meaning preying on, hunting for a younger woman, is a degenerate and i don't know what that word means but we're gonna look that up having long <laughs> okay let me see having lost the physical mental moral qualities considered normal and desirable showing evidence of decline mm -hmm. he on the decline okay he's lost the moral qualities Considered normal and desirable. He ever heard? He nasty. Okay, he looking and praying for a younger woman, praying on a younger woman to deceive, to manipulate, to control, because he doesn't feel he has control in his own life. Hear me once again. I am not talking about your dad, unless I am. I am not talking about your best friend's husband, unless I am. 
I am not talking about the man that you, the one man you know, the five men you know who have a wife that's 12 years younger and they're doing amazing. I'm not talking about them unless I am. Everybody knows an exception to the rule. I'm speaking on the rule. Understand that. I'm not talking about a man who organically met a woman, did not know her age, did not assume her age by how she looked or talked, and then found out that she was substantially younger, but they had already hit it off and he really liked her for her. I'm not talking about that man. I'm talking about these men today that they are ignoring and turning their back on women their age and going specifically to women eight to 10 years younger or more. These nasty men, you will see this online, on Instagram. My wife follows some of these women who are bloggers and fashionistas, so that's why she followed them. And some of them are 35 with a 50 year old husband, 55 year old husband. I could look at this man and tell, me being a man, I could look at this man and read this man and I could tell that this man will have sex with a cat. That this one and this woman, she in it for the money. Cause there ain't nowhere in the world she attracted to this man. I could look at it and tell, and that ain't no secret to people. People know that women who looking for an older man typically look, looking for financial security and what they think is maturity. And that that woman who is specifically looking for a man 10, 15 years older, she is lost, hurt, and confused. She'd have been dogged out, she'd have been mistreated, or she'd have been abandoned by her dad. Because people who are in their right mind and they're in their right spirit, they want someone in their age range. It doesn't mean the same exact age, but within five years because that way you come up in the same area time you know the same music you have the same similar interests you will age at a similar rate and you will be able to do stuff together you're not going to be 80 year old man 55 year old woman 80 year old man 60 year old woman 60 years old woman really can travel the entire world not to say an 80 year old man can't, but it's a difference. There's an age difference in them 20 years. And so somebody who is operating purely is not looking for somebody from a whole nother generation. It, it just, it just not. That is a reprobate mind. Okay. What the reprobate mean? Reprobate. An unprincipled person. Okay, all right now. I don't work for Webster. I just listen and I observe the world. That's how I learn these words, okay? I'm not a bookworm, but I know these words, okay? So I'm hitting you with some words. Up your vocabulary, all right? Yes, and this is a country boy sharing this with you. Up your vocabulary. Come on now, we finna go down. We finna go down. You're gonna learn some new words now. And I'm gonna misuse some of them, but we're gonna... Forget about that, and we're going to correct it with another word. But now, every word I done said and looked up, don't try to give me no another word for those words, because I meant that. That's what I meant that. All right? I meant that word. Now, it could be another word that, uh, that applies, but I meant that. Okay? So, I ain't argue with you about that. Let me tell you. And I hate to say it. And I'm and what I want you to understand, this video is very hard for me to expose the nasty men that's out here. I'm telling you, I'm 36 years old. A 26-year-old woman, that's a little sister. I cannot see a 26-year-old woman other than, and I don't care how beautiful she is, I don't care how sexy she is, I don't care, none of that. That's a little sister because it's just too far apart. And the way I always did it in my mind, I picture it like this. A 10-year-old dating a newborn. We don't want to do that because that's too real. That's too real. When you say a 10-year-old dating a newborn, okay, a 20-year-old dating a 10-year-old, that's too real. <laughs> Woo, that's too real right there. We don't want that. So we got to do oh, 30, 40. We want to go up higher so we could make it make a little more sense. But it's, it's a difference in what you've seen, what you've experienced, what you've learned. That don't equate to wisdom now. 
Knowledge is not wisdom. That's why they're two different words. Knowledge is not wisdom, okay? Wisdom is a gift from God. Knowledge, you get knowledge from a book. You get experience from life. Just because you have experience, though, don't mean you have wisdom. Because if you don't fully understand what you've experienced, then it ain't wisdom. It's just experience. All right, now, understand something now. Hey, listen to me. Stay away from the old men. If you want emotional security? Go to Jesus, okay? And then he'll send you a man that's on your level in your age range so that y'all can ski the slopes together. And you ain't got to have this man in his wheelchair rolling down the uh, slopes. All right? You want financial security? Get on your grind. Stop depending on a man. Get on your grind. If you if financial security means the world to you, get on your grind. And while you on your grind and you in the fields working like Ruth, you going to meet Boaz. You see what I'm saying? But don't be waiting on no man to rescue you like he's Superman. Because when he come rescue you, he know you looking for a man for emotional, for financial security. So he knows he's your Superman. And that's why he know he can dog you out. He know he can talk down to you. He know he can tell you the only thing you can offer me is total submission. That's a real quote from a real woman dating a man that's 10 years older than her. It's on the video that I, that's titled Emotionally Exhausted from a four-year relationship. Listen, look it up. God bless you. Let's on the guy. We'll talk soon.